So for that triangle question here, I didn't use geometric um, even though yeah, you'd be right to think that the rectangles maybe are reducing geometrically. Um, but it doesn't explicitly say that, so you're going to have to convince yourself first, right, that they're geometric. Yeah. So I've done, I've done that one and that one here. So let me just, let me just do this one again. So the way I did it wasn't the best way. It's kind of awkward. And somebody remarked that I maybe have missed an N in my simplification. So I'm going to do this one again. Let's see. Firstly, let's just um, take care of drawing the shape in again. Um, so let's just remind ourselves how this works. Um, okay, so it's at two here. That's going to be the bottom one. And then. Um, goes up here then would go up here then it would go up here do I have that right so it seems to be that the rule is uh, it always overhangs and the bottom of the rectangle is always on the edge here so on the uh, on the edge, on the edge, on the edge, on the edge, edge there, 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 and there. Uh, so the total area of the, the three of them. Now we know that the base is two and each height here, well this one, its height was eight, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so eight over four or whatever the number of rectangles is. Uh, okay, so could we say geometric, each area is geometrically decreasing? I'm just, yeah, or maybe it'd be better to say it's geometrically increasing, that this one is a proportion of the previous one. Um, also, is it possible to break it down into simpler rectangles? Like if I draw one here, and then 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 here. See, I, I, I suspect all of these might be the same rectangle. Because these triangles here, they're all identical um, in, in area and dimensions because um, they're all right angles, obviously. And the angle here and here is the same. And their heights are the same. So like the three angles are the same. And the heights are the same. So they're, they're all identical which means the one under is identical. And if I draw a straight line down, this is identical here. So in the example that we've drawn in T4, um, how many rectangles was that? Two, four, six, eight. So it's two plus four plus six plus eight times the area of one rectangle. So if I take out the two, it'll be one plus two plus three plus four. 
times the area of one. So actually, I think it's aromatic, maybe, not geometric. Um, so it would seem to me the two is because it's symmetric, so that's not going to change. And the 1 to 4 was because it had 4 rows, so for n, it'd be 1 to n. And the area is the area of one of the rectangles, like they've taken the top rectangle. So the height is going to be 8 divided by how many rows you have, so that's n. And then the thickness, well, this is one unit, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's 1 divided by, again, n. So I can see why people are saying I missed an n, because there's an n squared here. So this is 2, and this is an aromatic. So that's, um, uh, what's that formula now? a over 2. Uh, no, no, this is the sum of the natural numbers. So it's just a half n, n plus 1, isn't that it? Yeah, yeah, and this is, these twos cancel, and let's not forget this is 8 over n squared. So that's going to equal, if I multiply at the top, 8 n squared. Oh, actually, before I do, I can cancel an n. So that would be 8 n plus 8 over n. So let's test it out. Let's get t3. That's 8 times 3 plus 8 over 3. Um, 32 over 3. So that it seems to work, but that's not quite the formula I got yesterday. Let me uh, check my video yeah so somebody was saying that my formula 8 over 3 n plus 1 um i just got lucky that it happened to make the right answer because of the tree in the denominator uh if it was some other term they asked me to check for t4 or t5 i would have noticed it wouldn't work so this is a case of error checking not working because of unfortunate bad luck the mistake i made went undiscovered because it didn't affect the answer I was to check. Really, really bad luck. So, um, yeah, you're right. I missed an N in the denominator. Doing it this way is much easier. Um, obviously, much less prone to making a mistake because this was a disaster way of doing it and I got the wrong answer. So thanks for spotting that. I much appreciate it.